day. This cow forever. I just wanted to do a video really quick. Um, I was just kind of like saying, uh, it's kind of losing my thought, but uh, God, why? Bear with me a minute. God, I keep feeling someone trying to connect with me when I'm trying to deliver a good message. So just because you have a dream about an, about aliens does not mean that you're from another planet, okay? If you are in a human body, if you came from a human mother as a human baby, surrendered into this world, right? You're not an alien, you're a human being, okay? You're a human being. So if you have dreams about aliens giving you gifts of gold or something, right? You don't have to figure out what that means in that dream. It's just to get you thinking, right? Like, wow, what is this dream about? These people are giving me something. I was kind of afraid of them at first. And they give me a, a gift, you know? This doesn't mean I'm an alien, you know? And here's another thing. I kind of felt like maybe I should have a beer, right? It's from Australia. The Dalai Lama gave it to me, right? So I'm gonna enjoy this beer, right? This is my victory. I am my own enemy and I give victories to all victories to my enemy. Right? You know, and I, like, I don't let myself, I realize I am the way, and I don't let, you know, the circumstances of life get me down. I follow my heart and I do what I feel like and believe is right with the correct thinking and the correct action. So, you know, I'm thankful to be in this moment, you know? Like, you can be human, you know? Like, I'm Native American as a small part of my ancestry and I feel very strong connection to that I feel very red on the inside I even have a red aura right but probably the majority makeup of my bloodline is Norwegian the Vikings you know so like alcoholism runs in both sides of my family you know both uh, in my right and you know I'm thankful to be able to sit here and to drink this beer and to not have the whole one's too many, too many's not enough mindset, you know? That I, you know, I used to brew beer, you know? Even when it came to tobacco, like I always wanted to grow tobacco because I felt like I needed to connect with the plant. Not like just be unconscious, buy a pack of cigarettes and you know? Like when it, when it comes to tobacco, it's something that's special, right? You know, it should never be done outside of ceremony, you know? When it comes to beer, I feel, or wine, I feel like it should be something special, you know? I was just camping with, with Rainbow Family and alcoholism's a scourge there. There was this guy that was, you know, drunk and getting in fights with his girlfriend and then complaining about his, his wife not talking with him and like, well, it's like you just yelled at her because she wouldn't give you a beer. Because you drank 15 Mickeys and five Rolling Rocks, and now you want one of her Rolling Rocks? Like, oh, well, you bust out your bottle of Canadian Mist, right? But I'm not making, like, it's kind of funny. We can laugh at ourselves. And this guy was such an awesome character. Such an awesome character, you know? Such an awesome character. And I love this guy, you know? And I just care about him. I don't want him to be sick from alcohol, you know? You know, just as long as his 
stuff with a tolerable level isn't overly spilling on me. You know, I'm, I can take a little bit of spill from another person, you know. And I don't really blame them, right? I just know, like, okay, that person's responsible for that or no one's, right? So, yeah, you know, like, it's okay to be human. It's okay to smoke weed. These things that are taboo, especially in the new age communities and spiritual communities, I want to transmute them, right? I was at a point in my life where it's like I wanted nothing to do with alcohol. And I really like feel like I don't know where it's all leading. I see a lot of the value and the knowledge behind it. like, And I don't really want to go into that. But I know some people would probably be thinking like what's the value in getting drunk? It's not about getting drunk. There's, a, there's value in knowing how to take grain and essences and herbs from nature like hops and ferment it into a beverage. And it doesn't always have to be alcoholic. I mean like the monks, the Belgian monks, they go during Lent, they fast on beer. And I'm, you know, I'm sure they drink like bread beer. That's like 5.5% alcohol, you know? So it's good to know how to brew beer. It's, it, it, it's so beautiful to that all these essences of nature are in the complexities are brought out through this fermentation and alcohol is a part of that experience whether it's the volatile esters and the ethanols bringing up the notes of, of the terpenoids and flavonoids and volatile esters of, the, of nature you know it brings out that complexity and it's really beautiful you know and uh, so we need to not be so quick to bash on certain things you know and, and call them bad and to judge them, you know? Because that's just object consciousness. You're just seeing an object to attack. And I've been there, done that. You know, I've seen my threats, you know, to my livelihood. Like, oh, this person's smoking around me. I just quit smoking three days ago. I need to not smoke or whatever. Like, that's, not, that's actually not one of mine. I used to chew tobacco, right? When I stopped chewing tobacco, I decided I wasn't going to be around people that chewed tobacco. That was a given, you know. I've dealt with addiction, you know. I'm a very disciplined person. And, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say that. So... You know, there's a time and place for things. And that is college. You know, there's a time and place for things and in all things moderation, you know, and that's a huge, not a lesson that I've learned, but I have transmuted and alchemized myself and so thankful to be, be alive and have survived all of the abuse and bullying that I've encountered throughout my life just by me being my unique unapologetic self cal forever here thanks for listening peace oh yeah by the way my first youtube channel which is still on here i wish i wouldn't have deleted the videos i started out by with chugging videos, with beer, you know? Because I wanted to do something constructive with with something I felt like was a problem in my life and I chiseled away at it, you know? It's like, why can't you stop drinking? It's like, well, how much of it do you have left in you? Because you still want to do that, you know? So it's like, how much of that desire do you have left in you, right? How much of the desire do you have left in you, right? You know, it could be lifetimes, you know? How much of the desire does your bloodline have left in you, right? Be brave. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, cow forever. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of uh, Malt Liquor Drinkers United on YouTube. I don't know, I still gotta check out my buddies. Right? 
burps for rugby. You know, I, I, I gotta burp. I gotta chug this. Cause I gotta, I gotta have burps for rugby. <laughs> Tribute to rugby. Cheers. Rugby 721. Uh, all the burps in the world go out to you, my brother. From overseas. <laughs> You're one of the, one of my biggest fans. 